Hey, welcome back. Time to talk learnings. Travel learnings, video learnings and impressions. These have been 15 days of writing. Some smooth, some not so much. Let's go! You see, I'm not happy. There's this Ira Glass quote playing on repeat in my mind. All of us who do creative work, like, you know, we get into it. And we get into it because we have good taste. But it's like there's a gap that for the first couple of years that you're making stuff, what you're making isn't so good, okay? It's not that great. It's, it's, it's trying to be good. It has ambition to be good, but it's not quite that good. But your taste, the thing that got you into the game, your, your taste is still killer. And your taste is good enough that you can tell that what you're making is kind of a disappointment to you. You know what I mean? I feel like I didn't capture enough and didn't bring you along with me. This trip was supposed to be this epic adventure with cinematic writings. I simply neglected filming many, many shots of me actually writing. I froze not knowing what the outcome should be and wanted it to be spontaneous and fun. I planned it loosely and had pretty good writing days. I've seen so much, but was not particularly great at pointing the camera during the right time. I'm not sure how to do that yet and relax at the same time. You gotta know, it's totally normal. And the most important possible thing you could do is do a lot of work. Do a huge volume of work. Put yourself on a deadline so that every week or every month you know you're going to finish one story. Because it's only by actually going through a volume of work that you're actually going to ca catch up and close that gap. And your, the work you're making will be as good as your ambitions. It takes a while. It's going to take you a while. It's normal to take a while. And you just have to fight your way through that. Okay? Yeah. So, what's it like to ride 3,800 kilometers through Europe and crossing five countries, one even without realizing, and checking in into different Airbnbs every night? Last time I had just left Bologna, where, by the way, I had a great time. I had pizza and wine, went to the movies and saw Inside Out 2. You know, I do love to go to the cinemas in different countries. It's just an interesting experience for me. Italy overall was fine. Venice, Verona and Milan were all right. You know, the roads didn't leave a big impression on me, but like I said, Bologna was fantastic and my highlights were definitely Austria and Switzerland. Damn, those mountains, unlike anything I've seen and rode on before. Now, the last part 
really just was going home with stubs to sleep. Look, that's what I brought with me. Toiletry essentials in their own little bag. My diverse wardrobe of black shirts, black pants, shorts and long black sweaters and black underwear. Now neatly sorted into three separate bags. Filming equipment I got so far fits into one bag. And don't forget, tire kit, first aid kit and some tools. Now here is where my rain gear failed me. You see, I got this jacket from Knox. This worked fine, but I was under the impression that the pair of snowboarding pants could also do the job of keeping me dry. Far from it, I got soaked twice. So, for the next time, I bought proper motorcycle rain pants. Turns out to document your travels means to offload your footage and structure them so you can find what you're looking for in the edit. Way easier. That didn't go so well. I brought my iPad, but it has hardly enough space to really work as a middleman to upload stuff to the cloud or my SSD. Also, with bad Wi-Fi at some of the Airbnbs, it was nearly impossible to upload my stuff to the cloud. Do I really have to bring my MacBook? In the end, I want to enjoy the trip and because that whole filming thing is all new to me, I sometimes skipped it all together. Charging the electronics was annoying, especially with tangled cables and so on. This has to get a complete overhaul. Look out for a video soon. I want to organize and build a charging station for my gear here at home and make going on trips like that easier as well as just being able to grab stuff fast and film. Here's another tip. Force yourself to stop every two hours or so. I found myself trying to push through just to be there quicker and have more time to enjoy the evening. But it turns out when I stopped more and actually enjoyed the journey, I saw more of the trip. Overall, this has been 15 days of travel and I learned so much about riding and about myself. So I would highly recommend doing that kind of thing. And if you can, my motorcycle. I know I will do that a lot. It's like a meditation for me. It's also freeing and when all goes right, there's nothing like it. And during the other times, you go away with a story to tell. I promise to be better and improve something with every video. Join me here on YouTube with a subscription and your feedback. I love hearing from you. So, where to next?